Well, I think we have a pretty good idea what's going on here. Let me go and open the, cut open this huge box. It is way too large for this. obviously a phantom. I purchased this from a person, I'm not going to name his name, but he's a very cool dude and I'm very appreciative of the stuff he's going to be sending me. So, this is the unboxing of the Phantom Fury Limited Edition. That's one of that one. This is the last Phantom Fury ever made. I believe. So, here she is. Lots of packaging. So, yeah. The bin's coming off. That's okay. So, this traveled all the way from Arkansas, which was quite amazing. Is this is the bin thing break or something? Okay. It's very loose and it's kind of hairs. Alright, so this is off my other phantom here. I'm getting off of him. And I know the motor in this isn't that good. But it's okay. Let's take a look at the filter. It's not terrible. So I am getting around four other phantoms from him. Um, so yeah. This one actually has a cap. I did not know that. So, yeah, let's go and get my other fit. That is a lot of packaging. And I do have attachments for it. Oop. I will go ahead and borrow this real fast. Not for this one. This for, and I'll show you what this thing needs to be done. It needs the belt to be replaced, I believe. I think that's it. Finally, have a crevice tool. So, all right. That's actually really faded. That's supposed to be rose gold. This feel a little bit weird. This is by means of not new Phantom, but I had to get it. See my orange Phantom three. The wheels, it glides across the carpet. Maybe that's how these are designed. I don't know. Alright, so this one needs the belt to be changed on it. So, it's not that hard. Like, like I said, this is really loose. I don't know if it's a shift in the pedal isn't that good. Okay. Well, that is good. And I just heard a rumor that there's screws up here. Yep. So this one will be not for sale. And the other phantoms we're getting will not be for sale. So, just let me know. And then all that packaging and box I'll use to ship out his vacuums. I'm trading a Royal Classic Cupboard vacuum for a Phantom Fury 10 amp. So. And he did include a belt, so that was very nice of him. And like I said, this is not a brand new vacuum. This machine was sitting outside, I believe. He got this in a lot of vacuums. Um, so, he had gotten a couple other Phantoms. A couple of Bissels and Dirt Devils and Hoovers. And before that, he got a gigantic lot. So, 2048th week. It's actually not in too bad shape. It does have this bizarre wand set up thing. Which is interesting.
All right, I'm back. Um, I have my neighbor come over and talk to me. Um, so I went ahead and put the belt on that he provided, and I put a new headlight in this. I'm gonna go ahead and set that back and not touch my light. Um, but the motor is not spinning, it is locked up. But I know this thing has some bearing problems, so. And this bin is, like, extremely loose, so I gotta figure out what's going on with that. But, obviously, this is not a new Fury by, or a good condition for the Fury at all. It is obviously a very worn out example of a Phantom. Um, but I'm still going to try and fix this one up. See? Oh, it's not supposed to do that. My thunk, yeah, I had brought the thunder up. I just took the headlight out of it. It was one of the headlights I bought from the Fury. And I ended up with the thunder, but the footlock is breaking, I think. Or it's getting stuck somewhere or something. I don't know what's going on. So, um, this thing was a little bit clogged, I checked. Alright, so, here's one. These, I don't like how this is shaped. This is weird. And I, it was impo like, impossible. I had to spray WD-40 just to get one of them out. Like, it was turning out just like, what the fuck is going on? Alright, yeah, I definitely got that out of time. It was, it's just weird. <clears throat> like, on my other Fury, like, it goes in just fine. And it's not like these weird corner things. This is definitely a weird vacuum. And, um, whenever I run this, I want you guys to turn on your volume, because this thing, I believe, has some pretty bad bearing issues. So, just tightening the screws right now. Still, I'm very happy. That thunder is from a grip stool. Or, it's from one of those. But it came with it because I never had a phantom grip stool, and I must say that they are interesting. But, so, I definitely gotta fix something with that. There's something wrong. I think it's getting gummed up. So, that's for my 12 amp orange Phantom Fury. Spray down these wheels. I think it's spinning that good. Oh, well, they don't spin at all, y'all. That's what rest will do, y'all. Um, I'll deal with that later. Um. Okay, so I need to put the screws in up here, and this is not, like, lined up for some reason. I'll be back with you. Alright, I'm back. So, it's been about two hours. Um, I had to do a bunch of work to this thing. First of all, the motor was locked up. It freed itself up by me turning it on. The brush rail was completely garbage, so I took the one out of, where is it? Right here, I took the brush rail out of this. Motor is shot, but that's okay. I can get one. And if you um, barely even do this, that happens. So the footlock's going bad. But, and also, on top of all of it, these wheels do not turn. Very, 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 that one doesn't turn anymore. That was the only one I could get to turn earlier. But yeah, so it doesn't work that well yet. But it's a work in progress. It's a project vacuum. I can't expect it to be perfect yet. So, uh, this is quite faded. This is supposed to be rose gold. That's white. So, um, uh, so hose is somewhat clean now and filthy. 
definitely did get a pretty good reach with it. I must say that. So, this is the same hose as the Phantom Wildcat. But, um, headphone warning. This will conclude the video of my Phantom Limited Edition unboxing. I do like how this cord hook is like very sleek. It's very nice. <laughs> This thing to the vacuum store. I think I'm gonna put a new motor in it a couple months from now. I guess I could take the motor out of this for now, but there's no point in doing that because I already robbed a couple parts off of it. So, yeah. Um, anyways, uh, thanks for watching. It also has another issue where, yeah, anyways, I'm supposed to be getting way more from the guy. Um, so. Thank you, guy. Um, I will not say your name for privacy reasons. But if you want to reveal yourself, be in the comments. But I am getting three more phantoms from him. I am getting a, another orange Fury. I'm parting that one out. And I'm getting a 12 amp green one. I'm parting the orange one out for both of these. Or actually, all the Furies. <laughs> so, and then I'm getting a 10 amp Phantom Fury, which I'm very excited for. Um, that one's going to need a lot of work as well. And we are back. Um, I just vacuumed my whole house and it overheated. So, my overall opinions on this machine I like it, but it's kind of being a pain in my ass. Did I think I paid too much for it? But the guy I bought this from said he'd give me a discount on the next one, which will be a, hopefully both the Furies, the orange and the green one. And then after that, um, I will be getting a Royal on Sunday, and I will be sending that out and getting a Tenant Phantom Fury in return. So, yeah. So, the base is kind of shined up, I guess. Um, that's from overheating and um, not having a bare lean suction and motor being extremely bad. But that's okay. Yeah. Come on. I need that just for This is not the original have a cover as well. Um, this came off the Orange Fury as I mentioned. This is missing. So, yeah. Definitely did clean really well. I am not taking this off, but as you can see, it definitely did get quite a bit. So, came with a cover stool. Never had a fancy cover stool, and that's cool. Thanks for watching, guys, and I must say, this whole wand setup, I hate it. I don't like it. They should have stuck with the other one, but I'm still happy I got it. So this is definitely not my favorite phantom. So thanks for watching everyone and I hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs>